Welcome back everyone to a episode of Undertale featuring the Mason Stapler and Pretty Wild Diamond. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while, a little while since we've uh, last covered this game because we haven't been able to catch up at all because of the holidays. And now that the holidays are over, we can get back to playing. Yes, that is that. Oh, I can't see crap. That is the plan. Oh. Yeah. Behind you. Seven. seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, a king. King Asgore. Dremel. Will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the burial. He will finally take the Severs back from humanity and give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. I'm dying, I'll help you fight. Yo! You did it! Undyne is right in front of you! <laughs> you got front row seats to her fight. Wait. Who's she fighting? Hey! hey. You weren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? Okay. Am I not supposed to go in here? No. Oh. oh. Yep. And if you want to, you can inspect all the flowers. They they have a little story behind them. You hear a passing conversation. Sorry, it's just funny. That's my wish too. You'd have to read the flowers back in the beginning. <gasps> How dare you. <coughs> you hear a passing conversation. Hmm, if I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me. No promises. Of course I won't laugh. Someday, I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the world all around. That's my wish. Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it. And that was the word. Was this one? Yeah, sorry, sorry it's, it's just funny. funny. That was my wish, too. Simple enough. Mm -hmm. However, there is a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface, they will return, and the underground will go empty. Yo! Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. Um, yo, you're human, right? Haha. <laughs> Man, I knew it. Well, I know it now. I mean, Undyne told me, um, stay away from that human. So, like, um, I guess it makes us enemies or something. But I kind of stink at that. <laughs> Yo, say something mean so I can hate you. Please? Yo, what? So I have to do it? Here goes nothing. Yo, I... I hate your guts. 
man, I, I'm, I'm such a turd. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go home now. <laughs> Yo, wait, help, I tripped. You gonna save him? Uh, any X. X. There, there it goes. Y y yo, dude. If if you you wanna hurt my friend, you're gonna have to get through me first. See, not everything's bad. Not everything's out to kill you in this game. Yeah. She's gone. Yo, you really saved my skin. Guess being enemies is just a nice thought. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just have to be friends instead. Yeah, that's everyone. Man, I should really go home. I bet my parents are worried sick about me. <laughs> He's like so far away from home. <laughs> Later, dude. I don't know where his home is. I can't remember where I saw him. Was that his home where I saw him? That was uh, back in the first town of the game. Uh -huh. at Snowden City or Snowden Town, whatever they called it. Seven. Seven human souls and King Asgore will become a god. Six. Six, that's how many we have collected thus far. Understand? Through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. No. You know what? <laughs> Screw it. <laughs> Why should I tell you that story when you're about to die? You. Yeah, it's just like a fish monster thing. Kind of looks like it. Standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams. Alfie's history books made me think humans were cool. With their giant robots and flowery swordswomen. <laughs> swords <women. laughs> but you? You were just a coward. Hiding behind that kid so you could run away from me again. And let's not forget your wimpy goody two shoes stick. Ooh, I'm making such a difference by hugging random strangers. <laughs> you know what would be more valuable to everyone? If you were dead! <laughs> That's right, human. Your continued existence is a crime. Your life is all that stands between us and our freedom. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together. Everyone's been waiting their whole lives for this moment. We're not nervous at all. When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose. Now, human, let's end this right here, right now. I'll show you how determined monsters can be. Step forward when you're ready. <laughs> you gotta save me right there. I'm gonna turn off. Alright. Yeah, just keep your jacket. It's probably gonna be cold. That's, <laughs> That's it then. You did save her. Yeah, save her. Alright. No more running away. Here I come. Then guard. You gotta push X. X. X, that's a weird one. It was like that last time. Okay. If you're green, you can't escape. You can't escape. Correct. Okay. So Unless you're in the face danger head on. Unless the second one gets to me. Okay. You'll you'll see how this how this goes. I'll I'll give you a few hints. 
ruled on dying you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened to you. Not bad, then how about this? You gotta rotate. Oh, oh, okay, I didn't know I, I controlled that. I was I was thinking I was moving and I wasn't no, moving. No, no, uh, left, right, up, down, you know, all that stuff. Tell Undyne that her attacks are too easy, the bullets get faster. <laughs> oh, that's great. Smells like sushi. You tell Undyne her attacks are too easy, the bullets get faster. And now someone is just within our reach. Undyne bounces impatiently. You tell Undyne her attacks are too easy. Do you really want to want it to get harder and harder? <laughs> I'll let you snatch it away from us. Challenge. <laughs> Enough warming up. Oh, what? Well, I was moving. Move. Ah. All right. <laughs> Undyne Suplex is a huge boulder just because she can. <laughs> All right, now. Th this this part is where it gets tricky to figure it out on your own. Now I can either tell you what you need to do, or what you can do, or you can try to figure it out on your own. Because there's absolutely, well, there's only one hint that you've already had on what you have to do, or what you can do right now. It's about challenging. I mean, I might do something practically when she can, maybe. Not sure. Well, there's a few different things that, that you can do right now. Can I go back? B. B. Alright, so... Well, Plead, Plead will end up lowering her attacks. So it, all the challenges that you did, just speed it up, Plead will slow it back down. Okay. But let's just say right now, right now you're actually in a good spot where you can progress more. But you have to do a certain thing. There's only attack, challenge, plead, and check. This is actually one of the things that I actually that I actually had to look up in order to uh, finish this boss I mean, boss there's mercy, battle. but it's not mercy, is it? Close. Plead. Plead. This is the, like I, I. This is the one time that I'm gonna tell you that that's what you have to do because there is only that one hint. So you can only flee whenever you're red, though. Is, so I'm supposed to just keep on having her chase me? Essentially. Okay. The, this is the one time that I'm going to actually tell you what what to do. Because there's just that one little hint. Like, I, I think I died on this boss battle about five or six times before I finally figured out what to do. Okay. And I'm not supposed to actually get away, I'm just supposed to keep on getting caught by her? No, no, uh, you do try to run away. Like, there's a cave that's just right above you, and you basically just keep running, she catches you, and then you run away, and then she catches up to you, you run away. Yeah. Honestly, I'm doing you a favor. <laughs> he just wanted to get more difficult. No human has ever made it past Asgore. Yeah. Now you know why I wanted you to get the Timmy armor. <laughs> Alright. You tell him that her attack is too easy. Well, let's get faster. Killing you now is an act of mercy. Well, thank you. Points heroically towards the sky. Remember, pleading makes it lower. <laughs> I'm so being damn resilient. Freaking. Okay, 
なぁぐらいですよね。She's faster than you, so she'll catch up to you every time. Yeah, no, no. You escaped from me for the last time. a l f i e s told me humans were determined. What the? Okay, I got it. Yeah, yellow flips around. Alright. No, what is this? Undyne holds her fist in front of her and shakes her head. Tell Undyne their attacks are too easy. But I'm determined too. Holy crap! <laughs> That was very confusing. <laughs> determined to end this right now. Stop doing that! <laughs> Do I have the red? No, I don't. I'm See, I didn't know about the Tempe armor at the time either. Yeah. So I was dying left and right in this battle. <laughs> nice. The bullets get unfair. <laughs> I don't think you can do it anymore. That is really unfair. <laughs> Escaped. Stop running away. You're, you're still red. No, no, oh, I no, am. you're still red. You're still red. What's up? I was just thinking, you, me, and Undyne should all hang out sometime. <laughs> I think you would make great pals. Let's meet up at her house later. Click. Is that her? <laughs> yeah, that's Undyne. That's <laughs> Come back here, you little punk. And you're so red. Ah, I can't think now it's gonna just stay red. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think you're at the point now where she uh where you're pretty much red the whole time. Oh, okay. What? That was weird. Armor. So hot. But I can't give up. A water cooler. Take a cup of water. You take a cup of water. Give Undyne the water. <laughs> oh, I thought I was gonna have to go and read some more. Okay. Just walks away. Alright. <laughs> the water evaporated from the heat. Damn. The cup evaporated <laughs> too. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination. And then if you go down, there should be a raft. Yeah. And you can take him to uh, to other areas, the previous areas that you've been. Why would I want to go to a previous area? 
Just for extra stuff. Mm. Oh my. Apparently it doesn't matter. Where are the two guys? They're just blocking your path for now. It's you? God, I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered, I'm barely dressed, it's all messy, and... Um... Uh, hiya. I'm Dr. Alphys, I'm Asgore's royal scientist. But, 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 ah, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um, been observing your journey through my console. Your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on a screen really makes you root for them. This is so, uh, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. I know a way right to Asgore's castle, no problem. Well, actually, um, there's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metatone. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Anyway, recently I decided to make him more useful. You know. Just some small practical adjustments. Like, um... Anti... Anti-human combat features? <laughs> of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided... I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so. And, um... Now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, hopefully we won't, won't run into him. Yeah. Hmm? There he is. About to run into him. Did you hear something? Oh no. Oh yes! <laughs> Welcome, beauties! To today's quiz show! Oh, okay. Oh boy, I can already tell it's gonna be a great show! Everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestant! Never played before, Gorgeous. No problem, it's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly. Or you die. <laughs> <laughs> Metatone attacks. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? If you look at Alfie's, she gives you hints. Ah. The quiz show continues. Screaming is against the rules. <laughs> Here's your turn what? prize. What's the king's full name? Correct, what a terrific answer. <laughs> The show continues. The 
gaming is against the rules. <laughs> Enough about you, let's talk about me. What are the robots made of? Easy for you, huh? Here's another easy one for you. Whoa! Two trains, train A and train B, simultaneously depart from station A and station B. <laughs> yeah, I'm not reading that. <laughs> Screaming is against the rules. Don't count on your victory. How many flies are in this jar? Correct, you're so lucky today. Let's play memory games. What monster is this? I'm so flattered you remembered. <laughs> but can you get this one? Would you smooch a ghost? This one's just kind of they're all the same answer. Yeah, I just realized that. Here's a simple one. Many letters in the name Metaton. <laughs> the numbers just keep going up. <laughs> Time to break out the big guns. The dating simulation video game Mew Mew Cute Kissy Cutie. What is Mew Mew's favorite food? <laughs> Alfie's, Alfie's, Alfie's. You aren't helping our contestant, are <laughs> you? Who you should have told me. I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. Who does Dr. Alfie's have a crush on? Okay. Seriously? My, my. How conceited can you get? I love it. <laughs> and while you're completely wrong, you deserve some credit. <laughs> I've seen her watch you on her computer screen, smiling when you succeed, shrieking when you fail, and always, always whispering. No, wrong, you have to go that way. In its own way, is this not love? Well, 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 with Dr. Albies helping you, the show has no dramatic tension. You can't go on like this. But, but, this was just the pilot episode. Next up, more drama. More romance. <laughs> more bloodshed. <laughs> Until next time, darlings. <laughs> well, that was certainly something. <laughs> This is probably pro this is probably my favorite part of the game. Wait, wait. Let me give you my phone number. But then maybe if you need any help, I could What where do you get that phone? It's ancient. It doesn't even have texting. Wait a second, please. Here, I upgraded it for you. You can do texting, items, and it's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> Yellow feeder tapping just behind the door. The space behind the wall is only a few feet wide.